In the last episode of Miles of Steps, we arrived from Goa to Gokarna. After an unpleasant welcome and the running away from the last hostel, we decided to stay longer in a different place to see nice secret spots around this city. Do you hear it? Do you really hear it? Nature of this region is unbelievably loud and unusual. In Gokarna you can easily connect with the planet. I saw spider like that, like that. And I'm really not joking and I do not like spiders. And then I'm just thinking where is another gnat and where they can be. Snakes are also here? Yes. Nice. I was sure that walking in my sports sandals wasn't a great idea. Someone will say to me that trekking in India it's it's not something beautiful. This person is wrong. It's insane. Just you have to be careful not to record videos while you are talking. Not like me. What? Yes. Okay, it's really humid here. Wow. Walking on these paths was spectacular. However, they were a bit narrow and, in my opinion, dangerous. On the Brotherhood Point, there is a lonely tree, a place where many locals like to sit, talk and enjoy the nature. My friends have shown me the most incredible spots and from time to time they really like to huh? add some That's adrenaline into it. You want to climb it? No. How I could climb this tree? Yeah, and then just fall over there. There. Luckily, Arman didn't fall. I like that here no one needs the internet to be connected. We talk, we laugh together and enjoy our time here. Urvi, Arman and Sanai really made me happy. We carefully tried to go down and up the rocky cliff. The views were just impressive, so we felt the need to do it. As in nature, there isn't any made path to go down the cliff. There are just rocks to climb off and on them. I also done this way down and almost one rock left in my hand. When I was climbing up, oh, I got so scared. So yeah, please be safe in that place. It was a time to go back, to still have a light in the forest and not walk in the darkness. Who knew how many other dangerous animals were there? We are going right now to, we are trying to find a way to Robert Hull. This is when your brain slowly stopped working. So we are trying to find our motorbike and at this time you can really feel this climate when you are all sweating and it's not just me but all of us and we're losing really fast water and we don't have any but we are close My legs start to be itchy ah. Damn it Go You should fly your drone and follow it. Good advice is from <laughs> Arman. We decided to not fly a drone next to the eagle to respect his being and let him enjoy the freedom. One more time, 
we survived it. I'm so happy, it was amazing. That is something what I will recommend for all of you to do it, but I don't know how that would be possible since you don't know anyone who is living over here, but try to find some recommendation, try to find a way, ask people. They know what here is the most beautiful. You will not find this on the internet. Like right now I'm giving you the recommendation, but I don't know the way there. And that would be really hard to even explain. That is like a jungle. It was amazing to see it. The most important. Try to be safe. Gukarna has many secret places that you don't want to leave from here. We traveled around to see more spots, animals and nature. After the time here, it is hard to not love the nature even more. That was so good. I have a we saw a very big one this big. I still have the photo. Yeah, what? show them no. How does it kill you? So we are trying to reach Blue Lagoon. I don't know if any tourists know the way to this place. So if you want to go, you have to ask locals. Here it was. In the middle of the forest, a place of lukewarm water especially in this season. It was an easy decision to go in. The water was so clear that I decided to join the swim. We're jumping. Are we jumping? We're diving, I think. Yeah. Okay, one. The one of the most unusual feelings was to swim in the warm water with warm rain on your own skin. which can kill you so yeah amazing topic <laughs> and i'm so happy i can't even describe it and i know you like to look bad but i don't mind because this is worth everything after a little while something touched our legs maybe it was an animal or just a leaf we don't know <laughs> Probably leave them here. Or try again. But just too scary after the point. Let's go again. You want again? Yeah. No monkey! Somewhere there was a monkey! That was a bit scary. That was a monkey jumping on the top of our heads. And yeah, I left my stuff on the side, like over here. Uh, yeah, I know it's a bit dirty, but that's done human being. I was worried that the monkey will come and take my stuff. Because the monkeys are so smart. Come with me, stay with me. That was the way my Indian friends took care of me. Making sure I am always safe and happy. In India, they like to say, the guest is God. This sentence is real. I was treated with amazing respect. 22 kilometers from Gokarna, there is a place called Nijamfort. 16th century, constructed by the Queen of Pepper. We are going to see the fort where just woman had a power. And she was responsible for import and export of the pepper. This wonderful fort truly gives the impression of a fairy tale castle, all covered with the grass. Look at this green color! Oh my god! Insane! According to legends, this was one of the most important locations for foraging spice trading with the Dutch, Portuguese and British. The fort was protected with outstanding architecture from a bygone era, such as canals, moats, secret passageways 
and many others. If you want to enjoy this greenery, the best time is to come after the monsoon season. You can easily admire the huge amount of eagles here. They are everywhere. In Gokarna, I can't even have one day without any problem and I will show you what is happening because I think something bites me and I get allergy reaction. Look at my leg. One, two, three, four, 14, 15, 16, 17. And on my elbow. So yeah, damn it. Ah, uh, I don't know what is it, but I'm taking a pill for the allergy. Yoo-hoo, Gokarna and my disease. That's supposed to be the title of this movie. Before leaving Gokarna, there is one more place worth seeing. Honey Beach, whose name is inspired by the color of the sand. To go there, you need to catch the ferry to pass Gangabali River. And not that crazy. Now we are going on a ferry just to go to another beach on the other side of the Gokarna. It's called Honey Beach and now it's going, going to rain. <laughs> Usually, water here is more clear, but due to the monsoon season, you can see murky waters. In the straight line, from one side to the other, is 400 meters. However, if the ferry wasn't here, all of these people would have to travel 35 kilometers by the bridge connection. To get to school or work, people from villages travel every day but the bridge connection between two sides of the river is too far, means the ferry is the best option and costs 5 rupees per person. After reaching the other side of the river, we started our ride in between beautifully green plantation fields. It was extremely beautiful. So beautiful. the most beautiful ride here in India and I think any of the rides which I had in, in the world in my life it's just amazing and beautiful we saw plantation peacocks every type of animals crazy nice beautiful I'm excited Pony Beach seemed to be less known. We arrived here alone and enjoyed our little time talking. With 2% of my battery, I couldn't show you more, but I can promise it is worth it to come here. Monsoon is not a season to enter the water. Waves are big and rough. However, you can watch them carefully and see how unusually they are breaking. The last ride between local villages it was a time to leave Gokarna. Gokarna is a place to come back and I will do it for sure. I was going on a side of the beautiful coasters just to see Goa and Gokarna because it's amazing and everyone were talking about this one. So I was wondering why and I came here and what's happened is that Unfortunately, my body is not reacting well and I will say one advice to all of you if you are going to go or go Karna, even if that is a beautiful place you have to keep in your mind that the old disease, what can happen to you can happen here It's so tropical climate you have sea and ocean you have a jungle and <laughs> you have a mountains so every typical things what can happen they can happen over here like for example with me 
my trip and this video is supposed to look a bit different but because of that that everything happened and I was in a bed with hard medicines and then I was running at night because we had a bed bugs or today I've got rush um, you know like every possible moment something can happen so remember about that but anyway thinking about all this trip and this lovely place it's worth it it was a time to leave Gokarna and prepare ourselves to go to the Himalayas there will be even more crazy